I did say in the description that she is a toughie. And if you haven't got any exceptionally high or possessed stuff by now, she could call it a day and start again. You need strength for this one. It's also tactically you need to get rid of the little one. These little ones because they are very irritating and they can. One of their attacks is more or less a stun. The pods are also timed, so if you don't get to them in time like that, they will pop. Only attack on one side, and those little ones will try and do your head in by knocking you around a bit. If you're lucky, you can get it to win over the little things as well. Which makes them so much easier to deal with. Right, when you've done like this many hits, she will then do this and bring out the forms. So it's all over again. That's when it goes wrong. You don't get them first. With the pods, it will always be the one opposite where she rams the wall that drops. As in, you've got to do a bit of running. Shit. Or get stuck like that, fabulous. Absolutely terrible port for a PC. Unbelievable.
I like it when that happens. You think you've failed, flipped it up and failed it, and then you get a hit like that. So the one way that I found a bike work out with the fall is just to push yourself right back against the wall. Why you should always port something properly because the tag team is appalling. It works if you get an Xbox controller into your computer, but otherwise you've got this problem where your targeting is really off. Why I'm struggling with some of the extras at the moment, particularly with Iron. Because the um, gun's not targeting properly. Teleports are the best one for the little things. Because you could one shot them with one teleport. Because they do like to knock you around as well. Very basic form of interrupt. And that's the end of the most irritating for some boss. Next we will be doing the Hulk with that. And Reaper. Why is it telling me I've got Reaper? I should do.